everyone, my name is Susanna, but you can call me Suze. We're going to kick the day off by singing about God together. So everyone stand up and sing along. You know when I'm lonely, you know when I'm sad, I know. And then you are with me, yeah you are with me. trust you. Yeah, I can trust you. You don't want perfection. You just want my best. And when my mind is racing, you will give me rest. God is greater, greater than my feelings. He knows everything. Everything God is greater, greater than my feelings. He knows everything, He knows everything. You know when I'm lonely, you know when I'm tired, I know. And then you are with me, yeah, you are with me. You know when I'm worried, you know when I'm mad, I know. And then I can trust. Greater than all I feel You know it all and you always will I trust in you with all that I've got Doesn't even matter if I feel it or not You are greater than all I feel You know it all and you always will I trust in you with all that I've got Doesn't even matter if I feel it or not God is greater than my feelings He knows everything He knows everything God is greater Great singing, everyone. We all have feelings, but no matter what, God is greater than our feelings. And that's what this Blueprint series is all about. Have any of you seen a video on YouTube or watched a TV show about building or construction? Well, I have the honor of being one of the hosts from the hit construction shows called Build It with my good pal, Skip. Take a look at what happened in our latest episode. Oh man, I'm so psyched right now. Today is reveal day. Skip has been working on a new playground that um, should be finished today, but it sounds like there's a little something something happening. I mean, I can't even, I need to get my eyes on this. Susanna, hi. Are you ready for the big reveal, reveal, reveal? Oh, there you are. Yeah, I can't wait. Ta-da! Skip, I... You're speechless. I knew you would be at this masterpiece. Uh, that's not exactly the word I had in mind. Oh, I get it. You were probably thinking more along the lines of creative genius or modern day work of art. Oh, it's a work of something, that's for sure. I can't believe this. I knew you'd like it, but I didn't expect you to be so, so complimentary. So, um, let me run something by you super quick. Mm -hmm. You used these blueprints to help you? Oh, they help. <laughs> Skip, 
skip. It's super clear that you didn't look at these at all. I mean, that is what blueprints are for, so you know how to build something. And these materials, are these even new two by four beams? I'm sure they're two by some things. Let's just say I use some creative liberty. instructions and you clearly thought you could just do it on your own. Oh come on, this baby will stand the test of time. Okay, so maybe it is time for those blueprints. Oh man, those are some serious feelings we're dealing with here. I think there's something important we can all learn from that. Whenever we start to feel our emotions building up, we need to deal with how we are feeling. And here are three steps into doing just that. The first step is we need to stop and think about how we are really feeling. This can be tough, but it's so important because if we're not careful, we can let our emotions get the best of us. And if that happens, our emotions can cause us to make decisions that we can't undo. So let's take time to stop and talk about the emotions we just saw. Did anyone else notice how Skip felt excited about what he had built? And I felt excitement at first too, but that quickly turned to sadness when I realized that Skip hadn't used the blueprints. Next came anger, and when it all came tumbling down, we all saw Skip feeling a little embarrassed. Did you know that God knows what we're feeling? He knows what we're feeling because he's the one who created all of those emotions. So now that we've stopped and figured out how we're feeling, now we need to look at what's really going on. Hmm. Now that I look at the situation, it wasn't wrong for me to feel sad or even mad, but we never wanna let our emotions make us do something that will hurt others. Instead, I should have used my words in the way God wants me to. And that brings me to the next part of how we should deal with what we feel, listening. We've got to listen to God's blueprint for life, the Bible. God gave us the Bible as the blueprint for us to deal with how we feel. Here, check this out. Hey, everybody, listen up. Here's what God has to say. Aw, uh, yeah. What you got for us today? Well, today we're talking about feelings. Feelings, hmm? Like when I feel cold or tired? Well, actually, when I say feelings, I mean more like emotions. You know, happy, sad, angry. Wait, how about when you're feeling slappy? Uh, what? That's like happy, but sleepy. It's like you're laughing and then it turns into a snore. <laughs> uh, I'm pretty sure that's not a thing. But 
no matter what we're feeling, we need to learn to identify our emotions and respond to them in the way God wants us to. Ooh, good call. He's totally got our back. Yeah, he does. It's like the story in the Bible about how Jesus was tempted. Uh, I know that one. It's about when there was a, like a big thing and that other thing happened. Um, yeah, maybe I should just tell you the story. A little refresher course might be nice. I'll take notes. Good idea. Well, you see, Jesus is fully God, but when he lived here on Earth, he was also fully man. He felt emotions just like we feel emotions, and he knew how to deal with what he felt. Hold up, hold up. Just wait one second. You're telling me Jesus felt emotions like us? Like when I felt mad at my brother because he goes in and messes up my stuff in Minecraft? Well, Jesus never played Minecraft, but he sure did feel emotions. And when he did, he used God's word to help. See, one time Jesus spent 40 days in the desert, and while he was there, he didn't eat a single thing. 40 days? Oh, he must have been starving. Yeah, he was. The Bible says Jesus was feeling very hungry. Being hungry makes me so angry, and I call that hangry. And the only cure for hangry is pizza, topped with a burger, sandwiched between two slices of cake, also known as the secret surprise. It's a family recipe. I bet that would have hit the spot. But not only was Jesus hungry after being in the desert that long, he probably felt hot, tired, lonely. Oh no, sounds like Jesus needed more than my signature secret surprise. After those 40 days, the devil knew Jesus was hungry. So he said, if you are the son of God, tell these rocks to become bread. Whoa, he could have made those rocks into anything, huh? I know what I would do. I'd make those rocks into the biggest cheesy puffs the world has ever seen. But instead, Jesus dealt with how he felt by telling the devil, it's not just bread that keeps people alive. Their lives depend on what God says. That's right, Jesus. You tell them. Two more times, the devil tried to use how Jesus was feeling to make him do something. Oh, man. What an emotional roller coaster. All the twists and turns. The story is taking me everywhere. But each time, Jesus remembered what God said, and that helped him do the right thing. Sounds like Jesus knew that God's word can help us deal with how we feel. That's why he spent his life teaching people what God says. You're right. One time, he told this story in Matthew 7. Another story? This is like the best day ever. He said, whoever hears these teachings of mine and obeys them is like a wise man who built his house on rock. It rained hard, the floods came, and the winds blew and beat against that house. But it did not fall because it was built on rock. Awesome. Sounds like that house wasn't going anywhere. Then he said, whoever hears these teachings of mine and does not obey them is like a foolish man who built his house on sand. It rained hard, the floods came, and the winds blew and beat against that house, and it fell with a loud crash. No surprise there. Everyone knows you can't live in a sandcastle, duh. No, 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 uh, the house itself wasn't built out of sand. It was built on sand, which was not a firm foundation. Oh, right, 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 right. Yeah, Jesus told this story to show us how important it is to have a firm foundation in our lives. And God's word is that rock solid foundation we can build our lives on. That's awesome. So that kind of foundation will help us know what to do with how we feel. Yeah. When things happen that cause us to feel upset, like getting mad about something your friend said to you. Or when your brother messes up your stuff in Minecraft. Or that. We will know how to deal with things the right way. Because God's word helps us deal with how we feel. As you saw from that story, the two builders took different approaches to building their houses. One of the builders built his house on sand, which moves and it won't hold up during a storm. Jesus said that whenever we listen to him, but we don't do what he says, we're like the builder who built his house on the sand. But when we listen to Jesus and do what he says, we'll be like the wise builder who built his house on the rock. Remember that God gave us all of our emotions and he wants to help us deal with how we feel. That's what we need to know. Everyone say this after me. I need to deal with how I feel. That's it. You can deal with how you feel when you stop, look, and listen. Now we're gonna play a game called Spot It. Two cards will appear on your screen and your job is to spot the object that appears on both of the cards as quickly as possible. 
You'll have 10 seconds before the cards disappear, so try to spot it fast. On your marks, get set, go! Great game, everyone. Now there's one more way that we can deal with all of our feelings, and that's by worshiping God by singing. So let's do it. Thanks for hanging out this week. Remember that God gave you all of your feelings and he's always here to help you deal with them. Next up are some questions for your family to go over what you learned today and pray together. And we'll see you guys next week.